Today we'll review lines, line segments, and rays. The first thing I want to do is make sure that I've got a ruler to use. Uh, remember, anytime you're drawing straight edges, it's good to have a ruler. If you don't have a ruler at home, you can use the edge of a notebook uh, to help you out. We'll look at lines. We'll start with lines. First thing you need when you're going to draw lines are two points. Lines connect two points. They go through forever in both directions. First thing I want to do is draw my two points. I'll draw a point here and a point here. Uh, when we label our points, they are going to be labeled with capital letters. Uh, for simple purposes, I'll do point A and point B. Now that I've got my two points, I'm going to connect them with my straight edge. Remember again, lines go forever in both directions. So when I connect these, I will start outside of point B and go through point A. Uh, to signify that we have a line and that it goes forever in both directions, we do cap the line with arrows. When naming lines, this line here will be named line A, B. And because it is symmetrical, you can flip it to also name it line B, A. Remember that uh, in the name, you will also need arrows on the ends of the lines when naming a line. Second figure is a line segment. Line segments and lines are very similar. The one difference is that line segments start and end at points. For this line segment, I'll start out the same as I did with a line. I'll draw two points. I will label them point C and point D. Again, I'm going to use my straight edge to connect these two points. When connecting these two points, I start at one and I stop at the other, like such. Similar to lines, again, when naming line segments, they can be named two different ways. Line segment CD, notice again, I don't have the arrows on the line segment. Just like with the line, we can then flip it. Line segment DC. And the last figure we're going to look at today are rays. Rays are a combination of both lines and line segments. Rays start at one point and continue through the other point. Uh, for example, I will again start the same way. Draw two points. I will do point E and point F. When drawing a ray, I will start at point E and continue all the way through point F. And similar to lines, we can show that it is going to continue forever by throwing an arrow symbol on the end. So again, lines go forever in both directions. Line segments stop, start at one point, stop at the other. And rays start at one point and continue through to the other. Now, similar to lines and line segments, rays can also be signified with a smaller name. This here will be ray E. F. And now just like with lines and line segments, we've got to put a little symbol above it. Rays are special though. Wherever the endpoint is, that same point has to have the endpoint in the name. Uh, similarly, the arrow is on point F side, so we can name it with point F. Uh, just by switching around, you can see as I rotate this ray, it can also be named Like such, again, notice the E is on the endpoint, the F is with the arrow. So with these three figures, there's two names for each. Uh, keep in mind that, again, lines go forever in both directions. Line segments start at a point and end at a point. Rays start at a point and continue forever.